Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Abdaita Gadadhar Sri Vasadi Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Kadadhar Sri Vasadi Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Welcome to the Esoteric Teaching Seminars newsletter for October 2007. This month, for the first time, we have more video subscribers on YouTube than we do email subscribers on our regular site. So I said, let's try and do a video newsletter instead of the regular email newsletter. So here we are. This month, our stats continue to grow. Actually, the growth looks bigger than it really is, because remember last month we had a stats reporting problem. So the stats for last month are lower than they really were, and it makes this month look like the growth was fantastic. But actually, our growth this month is kind of leveling off. That means that our community is maturing, and the people who are here now are going to be here for a while. They like what we're doing, and they're responding nicely. For example, even though our page views looks like it went up spectacularly, it actually only grew about 20%. That's because of the underreporting from last month. But what's very interesting, if you look at the pages per visit, uh, they're trending upwards. And this is a really good sign. Also, the average time on the site is trending upwards. This means that the people who are coming to our site are spending more time looking at more different pages. That means they're actually studying stuff instead of just um, like tourists, you know, visiting a couple of pages and then leaving. And uh, along with that, you can see the bounce rate is down and the number or percentage of new visits is down. That means most of the people who are coming to the site have been here before. They know us, they trust us, and they want to hear more about our message. So all these are indicators that our community is maturing. We have so many new announcements this month. It's really encouraging. Our programs are expanding, our reach is increasing, and more people than ever are getting involved in our programs. First of all, there's our new site, liberatedsouls.org. Are you a liberated soul? Would you like to find out if you have at least the potential to become a liberated soul? Then visit our new site, liberatedsouls.org. On that site, you'll have a form where you can enter your birth information and take a test, an astrological test, to see whether you have the indications in your chart to attain spiritual liberation in this lifetime. There's also a lot of information on the site about astrology and even testing your guru to see if he's liberated soul. So a bona fide spiritual teacher or spiritual master will have one of the four moksha karakas in his chart. This is very important. So test yourself, test your friends, test your spiritual master and see who's really a liberated soul. And related to this is our first astrology course. We're giving an introductory course on Jyotish, or Vedic Astrology, 
and is not just any Vedic astrology, it's the original Vedic astrology given by Parashara Muni in his foundational work, Brihat Parashara Aura Shastra. This is a long Sanskrit scripture written more than 5,000 years ago. It's the original information on astrology for our planet. And this course is an online course. We're going to use a video conferencing system called WebEx to give this course. And that's part of our other news that we're expanding our web operations to include giving uh, spiritual counseling, astrological counseling, courses, and even satsangs by video conferencing. Video conferencing is the new wave of applications on the web. It's going to become very popular, and as far as I know, we're the first spiritual group to actively use it. So if you want to register for our Vedic Astrology course, it's free. Simply visit our site and you'll see a banner ad that allows you to go to our video conferencing site. And there you can register for the sessions and you can also register for our Sunday satsang service. Every Sunday at 11 a.m. we are having satsang. That means we get on the video here and we play chants and we also teach from the scripture and we associate. When we open up the sound channel for comments, you can all associate with each other and ask questions or have conversations over the internet. And this is very exciting technology and uh, you don't need a webcam or a camera, but it would help. And all you need is an ordinary PC with speakers. If you can see this video, then you have enough bandwidth to participate in the online video conference. So please join us. Finally, I'd like to highlight our new podcast on Sri Vishnu Sahasranam, the beautiful thousand holy names of God. This is something I've wanted to do for quite some time now, and explaining these thousand names of God will help everybody understand what we really mean when we say that you can get salvation or liberation simply by chanting these thousand holy names. Not only do we get tremendous spiritual benefits from this chanting, but it gives us the punya, or the auspicious, pious results to solve all of our material problems. This is something you'll just have to try and experience for yourself, how chanting the thousand names of God not only gives us spiritual advantages, but it actually helps us solve our material problems so that we can always think of God and worship Him. This gives us tremendous spiritual advancement. So thanks very much for being with us and signing up for our newsletter every month. And don't forget to visit our site, esotericteaching.org. I hope to see you online there on the forums where you can ask all your questions about spiritual life and enlightenment. This is David Hughes. Thanks for being with us. And we'll see you next time around. Hare Krishna. Hare Rama. Om Namo Bhagavate.